October 3rd, 2023. My name is Juliana. And I am Zoe. Welcome to your TNN. In U.S. news, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio has set the new record for the longest space flight by an American. As of today, he has been to, in space for a full year, working on the International Space Station. Dr. Rubio broke the old records of 30, 355 days in early September. In world news, Pina, a 21-year-old 20, chicken, has been making headlines lately. In March 2023, the hen from Michigan was crowned the world's oldest living chicken by the Guinness World Records. In local news, Buckeye just held the grand opening of Phase 2 of Sundance Park. The new expansion includes a man-made fishing lake, a splash pad, and new playgrounds. Now let's go to Ari and Olivia for This Week in History. Welcome to This Week in History. My name is Aria. And I'm Olivia. This Week in History, an act of Congress make Yosemite a national park in 1890, home of the giant trees. The park has made many trails and natural wonders to see and explore. In 1965, Gatorade was invented at the University of Florida. The name Gatorade comes from the nickname of the university's sports teams. Eventually, the drink became popular and made its inventors wealthy. After the Union Army, Army won the Battle of Gettysburg in 1863, President Lincoln announced on October 3rd that the nation would celebrate the first official Thanksgiving holiday in November. And in 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first of artificial satellite in space, but named traveled 18,000 miles per hour and circled the Earth once every hour and 36 minutes. See you next time on This Week in History. Thank you, Aria and Olivia. Now it's time for Sports with Blake. Welcome to Sports. My name is Blake. In football news, the Arizona Cardinals played the San Francisco 49ers this past Sunday. Next weekend, they are back home to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. The Diamondbacks played their last game of the regular season Sunday night against the Houston Astros. It's been a great season, and they were able to clinch a wild card spot. We'll see them back again in the playoffs. Our Tonopah Valley Phoenix football will be home this weekend to take on the San Pascal Valley Warriors. Go Phoenix! That is all for today. See you next time on Sports News. Thank you, Blake. Now let's go to Avery for the entertainment report. Welcome to Entertainment News. I'm Avery. If you're a fan of all things Halloween, the channel Freeform is showing a different Halloween movie each night from the month of October. You can watch classics such as Hotel Transylvania and Hocus Pocus. And he told you not to let the pigeon drive the bus, but now the pigeon has some big holiday dreams of driving Santa's sleigh. Greedy to laugh with Mo Williams' ninth pigeon book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Sleigh, which just released in bookstores and on Amazon. That's all for this week. See you next time on Entertainment News. Thank you, Avery. Now it's time for Fun Fact Trivia with Gretchen and Jameson. <laughs> Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Gretchen. And I am Jameson. Did you know that October 3rd is National Techies Day? This day encourages students to consider a career in technology. Your question for today is, by 2030, what is the projected number of employed U.S. tech workers? A. 3 million. B. 6 million. Or C. 600,000. You have 10 seconds to make your decision. If you said B, six million, you are correct. With so many opportunities in the growing technology field, students seeking a career in technology will find a promising choice choices everywhere they look. Share your experience with technology or learn more about new and innovative te technologies changing the world. See you next time on Fun and Fact Trivia. Thank you, Gretchen and Jameson. Let's go to Elliot for our word of the week.
Welcome to the Word of the Week. My name is Elliot. This week's word is estimate. Estimate is a verb, and it means, means to make a careful guess about the amount, size, or worth of something. Here's how it can be used in a sentence. They estimated that there were 2,000 people at the soccer game. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thank you, Elliot. Hey, Church SO. It's Mrs. Williams for our first message of the year. Woohoo! All right, you guys. So, I'm bringing a message for you today. Um, this month, we are celebrating um, Hispanic Heritage Month. So I have a person that we're going to kind of talk a little bit about, um, recognize. So um, Miss Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and she was born in October 13th, 1989. Um, and she is an American polit polit politician and activist. And she is actually one of the youngest ones where she came into US rep to become a US representative at the age of 29. That's huge because most people that start as politicians are like 40s or 50s so it's pretty amazing um and she is a hispanic female so that just goes to tell you that i mean it doesn't matter where we come from what shade we look like we can just be anything we want to be so this month we're going to focus a little bit on um hispanic heritage month and each month we're going to focus on something culturally and this month we are talking about being grateful so let's make sure that we're out there being grateful for all the things that um, we have, we have our families and our siblings. Yes, we can be grateful for our siblings, our siblings, our animals, our pets, our teachers, just so many things to be grateful for. So let's focus on that for the month of September. All right, you guys, I'm so excited to be back. I'm so excited to see you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Let's go to mission for our joke of the week. Welcome to Joke of the Week. My name is Mason. And my name is Kaden. So, Kaden, what is your joke? Why did the chicken cross the park? I don't know. Why did the chicken cross the park? To get to the other slide. Great joke, Kaden. If you have a joke you'd like to tell in the news, have your teacher email it to Miss Kaylor. See you next time on Joke of the Week. Thank you, Mason. That's all for episode TNN. See you next time. Bye.